As you might already know, I'm the proud owner of two rescue dogs named Peyton and Eli. Peyton can be seen every day during our show open here on the place. And today I would like to begin highlighting rescue pets and letting everyone know what great companions they are. Joining me now is Kevin Klein and his dog Pinto. Hi guys. Hi there. Say hi. Oh, so cute, so cute. So talk about Pinto. What kind of breed is he and where'd you get him from? Pinto's a Pomeranian and we adopted him from a Houston rescue organization called Recycled Palms. Oh, How funny is that? Recycled Palms. Yeah. So he comes from the Lone Star State. He does. Um, and uh, he was uh, part of a horde, okay? Aww. So he was part of a 25 dog horde, as was our other rescue, Beans. He was part of a 25. As a matter of fact, they were all in one chicken coop, and he's got a scar across his nose. Aww. And so, uh, but, but he was um, given up by his owner oh. because he's a diabetic alert dog. Yeah. And the patient that he was alerting ended up passing away. Yeah. And so the, the husband thought, it just reminds me too much of mom. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Well, that's kind of a sad story, but he's, he's certainly got a, a happy ending. Uh, what is his, you know, training as a diabetic service dog? How does that kind of play into his behavior? Uh, he is very demanding. <laughs> um, and, and I think that has something to do with his training because he always has to be on alert oh. as a diabetic alert dog. Okay. And so my understanding is that, uh, th and this is why he loves to be like this, he always has to be looking at the diabetic's face so oh, that he can determine okay. through that um, and so that's why he loves that position. Wow. Yeah. So you were just talking about Beans. Tell us a little bit about Beans. Uh, beans is bigger. Uh, Pinto's 4.9 pounds and Beans is 14. Uh, he's tan. Um, and uh, he is, the, there, there he is. He, he's uh, <laughs> this guy's security detail. Security detail. Yes. Yeah, so that brings me to my next question. So you kind of have this alter ego for Pinto. Yes. So he's the mayor of Sconeville, which is not a real place, everybody. But there he is right there in his official capacity. <laughs> and uh, really, how many ties, neckties does he have? 40. <laughs> does it really? Yeah, he's got uh, these, uh, 20 of these, and then each one comes in a bow tie as well. Yeah. So yeah, so 40 total. He seems very chill. I've seen some of your, I've seen your YouTube channel yeah. and you know, he goes through all these scenarios, these breaking news situations. Here you can see the mayor surveying the new mulch and lush greenery. He, I mean, does he just kind of go along with it? Cause he totally goes along with it. <laughs> as, as long as somebody is touching him and holding him, mm -hmm. he will do whatever you ask him to do. Yeah. Um, he, but, uh, the, that is the demand on him is you have to pick him up and touch him. Yeah. Um, but no, once you, once you have him, like uh, he'll work out for you right now. He'll do reverse crunches. <laughs> See, my dog would, my dog would not go along. He'll do ex that. arm extensions. She would Doesn't not. Doesn't care. She would not. I think my favorite uh, video of you guys on YouTube is the hurricane preparedness. Oh yeah. If you must go out, wear your raincoat. Above all, though, the mayor of Stonyville wants all of his constituents to stay safe. Yeah, that one's like pretty funny. Yeah. So um, was it important to you to have, you know, a pair of rescues? I'll tell you what, Melanie, the first uh, pair of palms we had were from a breeder. Mm. And, and I'm not knocking breeders at sure. all. They were the two most unhealthy dogs we have ever had. They were both epileptic, oh. yip and yap. Yeah. And Yap died of cancer, Yip died of renal failure, both had uh, patella dysplasia. These two, healthy as could be. I love and, 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 and they, they socialized so much better than our, our previous two dogs. Now we were overprotective parents, we were sure. first time parents, mm -hmm. but no, I, I will always go the rescue route. And think about it, okay? Uh, I was thinking about this uh, the other day, uh, is um, you, you get from a breeder, there's no backstory. Sure. Backstory. Yeah. Backstory for beans, you know? Yeah. And yeah, both of mine, I, I know their, their backstories indeed. And um, they're both prolific passers. Yeah. So know, what do they, people say about the YouTube videos? Because I just think they're super cute. Uh, people love the YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, and you're the voice of the mayor in the video, right? I am the voice <laughs> of the, yes, yes. I am the voice of the uh, fake TV guy. Um, it, it came out kind of during COVID. And okay. so it was a great relief for what was going on. People always look forward to them. And uh, they would subscribe to the channel. And, um, you know. It was it, it was silliness at first, yeah. uh, but then people really started to rely on it. Yeah, and that was kind of scary. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I am a follower. So, so what is next for the mayor of Sconeville? Uh, well, we, Sconeville does actually exist now. 
Oh, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife and I bought some property out of Warrensburg, and it has okay. officially been named Sconeyville. Okay. Uh, and so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll break ground on our build within the next year, and he'll do the official digging. Yeah. And by the way, if you guys think that he's a puppy, he's not. He's 11, right? He is 11 years yeah, old. Yeah, everyone in the, at the station here thought that he was, you know, yeah, just a no. little pup. No, he's 11. Yeah. yeah. So what would you say to other people that, you know, may be hesitant about getting a rescue because they think they have all kinds of baggage and issues and everything? Well, that's the charm. There is no baggage, you know? There's no baggage. There's stories. There are backstories. Sure. And they're, they, they already have training. He's potty trained. Uh, to the point of he'll go in a litter box and a potty pad. Litter from, box? Yes. I'm yep. super impressed. Yeah, well, that's from his I'm previous so owner. I'm so impressed. But, I'm so impressed. And, and, you know, you're giving a dog a second chance. Yeah. You know, and how thankful are they? I mean, they're unconditional love anyway. Yeah. But holy smokes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just love him. He's welcome back here anytime. <laughs> Kevin and... Can Kevin. you be the place mascot? He can be the... Well, I don't know. Peyton, she kind of has oh, that job unlock. I don't know. But, you know, they, they, they can partner up. Beautiful. Kevin and Pinto, Mayor. The we'll mayor. talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Melody.